Let's talk about the GARC model. The full name of GARC is General Autoregressive Conditional Heteroskedasticity. This model can be used to analyze time series data that are volatile, for example, stock prices. The picture on this slide shows everyone the Facebook stock prices over a one and a half year period. Notice that we have an increasing trend in this time series. Also, in each smaller stage, we have a lot of dramatic changes. For example, we have a huge drop over here, and then we have a huge increment over here. Because of these changes, this dataset doesn't have a constant variance. We use the term heteroskedasticity to represent the key feature of this dataset. Heteroskedasticity means a dataset doesn't have a constant variance. In the future, if you receive a new time series data, this dataset has a lot of dramatic changes, then GARC would be a better model to use to analyze this dataset. GARC is frequently used in stock analysis, so in this lecture, I want to show you how to use GARC to analyze a stock prices. Let's go to the R software. We can download the, the stock prices directly by using the R software, but uh, we need to download the uh, external package first. The package is called quant mode. So let's install the package first. The package name is quant mode. Q U A N T M O D. Quant represents quantitative. Mode means modeling. This package is frequently used for stock analysis. Let's download this package. And then you can choose your favorite mirror site to download it. Let's start this package. Quant mode. The function that can help us to retrieve stock price is called uh, get symbols. We want to give the stock prices to a variable. In this lecture, I want to use uh, Facebook as an example. So let's call this variable fb and then type in the function name get symbols. We need to specify two parameters for get symbols. First, we need to type in the ticker symbol of the stock we want to retrieve data for. We need to remember some famous companies' stock ticker symbols. For instance, the ticker symbol for Facebook is FB. The ticker symbol for AT&T is T. The ticker symbol for Twitter is TWTR, and so on. If you don't know the company's ticker symbol, simply go online and look it up. We want to use Facebook, so let's type in two double quotes and then type in FB between two double quotes. The second parameter we want to specify is called the auto.assign. We want to give a F to auto.assign. We want the software automatically download the stock prices directly from the online database. Press enter. The data set has been downloaded. If you want to take a look at what inside the FB, let's use the head function. This is what the data set looks like. It has a open price, a highest price, lowest price, closing price for Facebook stock every day. This time series is from the first trading day of a Facebook stock to today. After you download this data set, the quant mode package will automatically transform the dataset into a time series dataset. So we don't have to use the TS function to transform it again. We can also visualize the dataset. We can use the function chart series to visualize it. And then between the parentheses, let's type in FB, the dataset. This shows you the dataset. In stock analysis, we usually use the closing price to analyze a stock. 
So let's retrieve the fb dot close vector into a variable. Let's call this variable fb close. I want to type in fb and then a dollar sign, and then type in uppercase fb and then dot close. This means I want to access to the vector inside of the time series fb. Press enter. If you want to take a look at the fb close, this variable, you can use the head function as well. Now we created a time series of Facebook closing prices. We can perform the GARG analysis. You have uh, several options to perform such analysis. In this lecture, I want to use a package called uh, RUGARC to perform a GARG analysis. Let's download the package first. The package name is RUGARCH. RUGARC. You can choose your favorite mirror site to download this package. Let's start the package. R U G A R C H. When we perform a GARC analysis, we need to follow certain procedures. Usually, we will build a GARC model first, and then we want to apply the GARC model we built to the Facebook stock. In order to compare the accuracy of GARC models, we usually build several different GARC models and then apply them to the Facebook stock prices. And then we want to find the optimal model in order to build a predictive model. The function of building a GARC model is called UGARC spec. So let's build our first GARC model. I want to give this model to a variable as well. Let's call this FB1. This is the first GARC model. The function name is U T A R C H S E S P E C. We need to specify three parameters inside of this function. The first one is variance.model. We want to use a list function to specify this parameter. We want to type in equals to list and then another set of parentheses. In the inner parentheses, we want to type in model equals to two double quotes, sgark. sgark represents standard gark model. And then a comma. And then let's type in gark order. Here we want to specify one and one as gark model. This is the basic gark model. Let's type in C, parentheses, 1, comma, 1. This is the first parameter. Between the last two closing parentheses, let's type in a comma. Let's specify the second parameter. It's called the mean.model. We also need to use the list function to specify this parameter. Let's type in list. And then in the inner parentheses, we need to type in arma order equals to C. This is where we can specify different GARC model. First, we want to use one and one as the armor model. This means in the first GARC model, when we analyze the current stock price, we want to look one day back. We want to use the stock price of yesterday and the error term of yesterday to analyze today's stock price. When you build a new GARC model, you can give different values to the ARMA order parameter. Let's say 2, comma 2. That means when you analyze the current stock price, you want to look two days back. You want to use the stock price of yesterday and the day before yesterday and the error term of yesterday and the day before yesterday to analyze the current model. Then you can compare between these two GARC models which one is better. This is how you specify the ARMA order parameter. Next, between the two closing parentheses, you want to type in a comma. 
and then type in distribution.model. We want to give a std to distribution.model. std represents standard deviation. This is the first GARC model we built. Let's apply this model to our time series data. Let's give uh, the analysis result to a variable as well. Let's call this uh, FB GARC1. This variable will hold the analysis result. The function of uh, applying the GARC model to a time series data set is called uh, UGARC fit. U G A R C H F I T. We need to specify two parameters. The first one is called uh, SPEC. We want to give the variable that holds the GARC model to this parameter. It is FB1, right? And then a comma. Next, we want to specify data. Currently, we give the closing price to a variable called the FB close, right? Let's type in FB close. Unfortunately, we get an error message. It says, solver failed to converge. I looked up this error message in the user manual of UGARC package. The manual says the package doesn't guarantee it always gives a result to the user. Also, this means our current model with armor order 1.1 is not uh, the best model. We have to change the armor order. We need to try different values for armor order. Let's build a new model. Let's call this FB2. Let's just change the previous comments a little bit. Let's change the variable to FB2. Uh, let's try smaller numbers. Let's give a 0, 0 to armor order. 0, comma, 0. And then let's apply this model to the data set. Let's call this FB GARC2. Let's bring back the previous comments and then change it a little bit. FB GARC2 and then spec we need to give FB2 to spec. Press enter. Looks like uh, we get a result. Let's take a look at FB GARC2. We got a lot of information in the final report. The most important information is something called the ICAC information criteria. It's in the mid of uh, the final report. It's under information criteria section. This is the value you want to remember. In the future, when you build several GARC models, you want to choose the model with the lowest ICAC information criteria value. The short name for ICAC information criteria is AIC. You want to choose the GARC model with the lowest AIC model. That would be the optimal predictive model. Let's build another GARC model. Let's try some larger number for the armor order. Let's call this FB3. This is the third model we want to try. Let's try 2-2 for the armor order. Oh, by the way, the two values doesn't have to be equal. You can try 1,2, 2,1, and so on, different combinations. Let's try 2-2. 2, 2. This is the third model. Let's press enter. And then apply this model to the data set. Let's call this FB GARC3. For spec, we need to give FB3 to spec. Press enter. Unfortunately, we get an error again. Looks like among the three models we just built, the armor order with a 0, 0 is the optimal model. So we want to keep FB2 as the final predictive model. Let's take a look at the predicted value. The function of building the estimated value is called UGARC boot. Let's give this analysis to a verb as well. Let's call this FB predict. This will hold the prediction analysis result. The function name is called UGARC BOOT boot. We want to give FB GARC3 as the first parameter to this function. 
and then a comma. And then the second parameter we need to specify is the number of days we want to predict the uh, stock prices for. The parameter name is called n.ahead. If you want to predict uh, the stock prices in 10 days, you give 10. If you want to predict uh, the stock prices in 20 days, you give 20, and so on and so forth. Let's use 10. And then the third parameter is called the method. We want to give a vector to the method parameter. We want to specify that we want to use a partial estimation and a full estimation to estimate this data set. Between the two closing parentheses, I type in a square bracket and then type in 1. Press enter. If you want to see the result in a chart, you can use the plot function. Let's type in plot parentheses and then type in fb predict. The second parameter is called wage equals to 2. Press enter. This is the estimated value. The red line in the middle shows the forecasted stock prices for Facebook in the next 10 days. These are the most likely stock prices in the next few days. The darker blue dots on the top shows the upper limit of our estimation according to the GARC model we built. These are the optimistic estimations. As you can see, in the next 10 days, according to our estimation, Facebook stock could reach almost $200 per share. The lighter blue dots at the bottom show some conservative estimations. According to our GARC model, the lowest stock price of Facebook could reach $175 per share in the next 10 days. By the way, I don't promote the Facebook stocks to everyone. The information in this lecture is just for educational purpose.